Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will talk about GMAT exam pattern, format and the average GMAT score of a few MBA schools in the US and Europe. Let's start with the GMAT pattern, also format. The GMAT exam consists of four sections. Analytical writing assessment. This section requires you to write one essay analyzing an argument. You will have 30 minutes to complete this task. The second point is integrated reasoning. This section tests your ability to analyze and interpret information from multiple sources. It consists of 12 questions that must be completed in 30 minutes. The third point is quantitative. So this section tests your ability to understand and analyze quantitative information. It consists of 31 multiple choice questions that must be completed in 62 minutes. The fourth point is verbal. This section tests your ability to understand and analyze written material. It consists of 36 multiple choice questions that must be completed in 65 minutes. The GMAT exam is a computer adaptive test which means that the difficulty level of a question will adjust based on your performance. The total duration of GMAT is approximately 3 hours and 30 minutes. You will have the option to take two breaks of 8 minutes each between the sections. The candidates will have the flexibility to choose from three options for their exam section order. First is analytical writing assessment, integrated reasoning, quantitative and verbal. Second option is verbal, quantitative, integrated reasoning, analytical writing assessment. The third option is quantitative, verbal, integrated reasoning and analytical writing assessment. It is important to note that the GMAT exam is not time per question and that time per section is set so you should manage your time accordingly to have enough time to complete all the questions in each section. Now we will talk about the average GMAT score for a few MBA schools in the US and Europe. According to data from GMAT, the average GMAT score for students entering full-time MBA programs in the United States in 2020 was 706. However, this average can vary widely depending upon the specific school or program. For example, some of the top-ranked business schools such as Harvard Business School, Stanford Graduate School of Business and the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania typically have average GMAT score for admitted students that are higher than 700. On the other hand, some business schools have an average GMAT score lower than 700. As a general rule, top ranked universities in Europe tend to have higher average GMAT scores for their business program. For example, the average GMAT score for the London Business School is around 730, while the average GMAT score for INSET, which has campuses in Europe, Asia and Middle East, is around 720. It is also worth noting that average GMAT score can also vary depending upon the type of the program. For example, the average GMAT score for students entering part-time MBA programs or specialized master programs may be different from the average score for students entering the full-time MBA program. It's important to keep in mind that while GMAT scores are important, they are not only the factor that schools take into consideration when making admission decisions. Other factors such as undergraduate GPA, work experience, essays and letters of recommendation can also play a significant role in the admission process. Here are the average GMAT score for some of the top ranked business schools in the United States. First is Harvard Business School, it's 730. Then St Stanford Graduate School of Business, 732. Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania, 730. Kellogg School of Management and Northwestern University, 724. Columbia Business School, 730. Chicago Booth School of Business, 732. MIT Sloan School of Management, 726. Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College, 724. Ash School of Business at the University of California, Berkeley, 724. Fuqua School of Business at Duke University, it's 725. Ross School of Business at the University of Michigan, it's 722. Darden School of Business at the University of Virginia, it's 724. Next, here are the average GMAT scores for some of the top-ranked business schools in Europe. IE Business School in Spain, 710. HEC Paris in France, 720. Estate Business School in Spain, 700. SDA Bocconi in Italy, 680. IMD in Switzerland, 720. Rotterdam School of Management in Netherlands is 680. It's important to keep in mind that these are just averages and many schools have a range of GMAT scores for their admitted students. These averages may change from year to year. Additionally, depending on the competitiveness of the program, the applicant pool and the university admission criteria, the GMAT score required for admission may be different. Again, I hope you find this video useful. 
please do like this video for more such updates please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notification also please let us know about your queries in the comment section below we will answer all of them thank you for watching and i wish you very best for your gmat journey happy learning let's crack it